Are you hiding? Are you hiding? Yeah, I saw they're gonna get a price. This one looks reminds me of mine. I'm just gonna compare the price. See how much it is. Hola! Quantos pesos es este? Cien. Okay. Todos? Cien? Okay. Gracias. So all of them are a hundred. And actually, I think I paid a hundred for my first one. The colorful one. And then when I went back and buy it in bulk, I think I paid sixty or eighty for them. Now, a hundred pesos is five bucks. So, see what I'm leaning towards is I promised some friends some mezcal. So what I might do is when I'm down in Oaxaca, I might pick a couple of these up to give away as gifts. Hold on. Because I don't want to haul them around for two weeks, three weeks, however long I'm here. But I, I love mine. I'll tell you, on cool days, that thing is so warm. It's got a hood. It's got pockets for your hands. I think somebody's still drunk from New Year's. And then I bought some of these bags for my nieces, which uh, they use as beach bags. And um, these are really nice, really nice, very convenient. I'll have to find out how much they're selling for these. Nobody's back there. Hola. That's nice, Mexico. I don't like it has a flat bottom, but this this bag is. Very nice, colorful. Now I paid only 40. I think I paid 40 for these in Oaxaca. Hola. Quantos pesos? Cien. Oh, okay. Gracias. Gracias. Yeah, charging a hundred. It's a little bit too much money. Well, this girl's built. Holy cow. Yeah, a lot of the Mexican women have an Indian look. If you're into um, the Indian look, uh, that girl doesn't. That girl, she's short, but she is uh, proportion. Wow. Hola. ¿Qué es este? Carne? Carne. Carne. Chiron. Oh, interesting. Champiñones con queso. Champiñones. Oh, oh. So, uh, no picante? No. Okay, no. Uh, me gusta uh, championes y queso. Okay. Gracias. ¿Cuántos pesos? 16. 16, okay. Picante? No, no picante, gracias. So this is queso and mushrooms, cheese and mushrooms. Yeah. Fantastico. And uh, uh, como se llama? Quesadillas. Quesadilla. Quesadilla. Oh, it's my, uh, my favorite. Uh -huh. Gracias. Oh, I love quesadilla. This does not look like a quesadilla, but wonderful. Gracias. All right. I couldn't resist. They love their corn in Mexico. Right? Mexico are more maíz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some 
spicy chips, some hats. Yeah, I overpaid for that hat there, big time in Oaxaca. I'm not even gonna, I don't even remember. I think I paid 300 from this little kid who was such a good salesman, I couldn't resist. These people are smart. They give, put these little kids and they give them some training and uh, it's harder to resist a kid, you know, when they seem pretty good at what they do. They're pretty colors. Look at these guys go, huh? Around the cones. I could never do that where um, where they alternate feet going whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. like when one foot's going in, the other's going out. Extremely hard to do for me. Oh, we got the mime. <laughs> These are very pretty. These are uh, 190. These are like a shawl that goes over the shoulders. See? Obviously for a woman, not a man. Yeah, it's very pretty. Yeah. Yeah, muy bonita. Gracias. So still 190s only. Uh, Nine bucks. So, if you're gonna use it, I mean, it's cheap. And actually, on the cold nights, it's actually uh, pretty easy to take on and off. And you can get fresh juice. I'll have to ask how much it is. Strawberry banana is always a nice combination. And kiwi. Okay, so we are at the Benito. Oh, no, gracias. Uh, no necesito. Oh, gracias. Uh, no, no fumar. Gracias. So this is Benito Juarez Park, I do believe. I actually filmed some kids in a fountain over here and I bought a bunch of. Uh, these pullovers here last year. Oh, that's Mezcal. Different flavors. That's interesting. That wasn't here last time. Mezcal is a special type of tequila. It's made a big push over the last couple of years. You'll now find Mezcal bars around the world, not just in, in uh, North America. Yeah, so this is, because I fly in and out of Mexico City, instead of lugging stuff around, I typically will come over here. It's very easy to get here from the airport. Well, I won't say very easy, but it's not difficult. Subway. And a little bit of walking goes a long way. And you can see there's all types of clothing products. And you need it. Oh no, no. I got a special for sneakers, eh? Oh no, the este is uh, playa, uh, Zapatos de Playa. De la Playa. Next time. Okay, gracias. Yeah, there's the fountain right there, I think. No, I don't remember. Oh, watch out, kid. What I was saying is, um, this wall barge right that kid just almost fell down rocking they don't <laughs> the two parents there kids weren't even watching where the little girls going so I was at that artisan market and their prices are double what you'll find here because obviously you can see the overhead here is very very low this is about as low as the overhead will be that's why street or parks are the great place to buy goods because there's very little money being paid here to participate. And always negotiate. They may say no, but if they say no, then you can decide whether you want it bad enough. Just always, if you're prepared to walk away, 
Like those are the pullovers right there, the colored ones. You can get those for 100 pesos in this park. They'll try to, at the other markets, they're charging 200. And they're all over the, they're at probably five, six, ten different of these stalls. So if you don't see a color or a pattern you like, just go on to the next one. That's all. And also ask them, tell them what you're looking for, because they'll have a pile. See how there's a pile there? They'll often have a giant bag or pile in the back. Yeah, see, there's a, there's a colorful one right there. All right, I'm going to sign off here so I can use my hands. Yeah. I tried to get a picture of this before, and it wouldn't fit, it fit in my frame. Very colorful. And I forget the story about this church, but it, you can go in there and get a tour, I believe. <laughs>